Happy Final Fantasy Day, everyone. With the release of Final Fantasy Rebirth that we just had yesterday, we are yet a little bit closer to finally finishing that Final Fantasy VII Remake story in its totality. And you know what? Now that Final Fantasy dropped, I thought it would be an excellent idea to give you guys my list of uh, Final Fantasy games that I absolutely love that are my favorite and you know you know talk about it give you guys a couple bullet points on why I like these games so much and why they are absolutely amazing but before we get started don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content just like this all right without any further ado my Final Fantasy list in no particular order by the way this is not like a top five or anything like that it is just me gushing about these games okay in first place or I guess the first one it is the last story what that's you okay I was just kidding that's not the first one but you know the guys who understand that joke they understand it All right so in first place or the first one we have Final Fantasy VIII. Now, Final Fantasy VIII is definitely one of the most controversial ones because of the fact that people just don't understand the junction system. And the other reason is the fact that it's butt ugly. And But that's not the real, real reason. The, the other, other reason is because of the fact that this came after Final Fantasy VII and it just, it just wasn't as good. It is really sad to say that this game just wasn't as praised because of the fact that it wasn't as good, which is really sad because this is an excellent game. Once you understand the junction system, like you understand its capabilities, the whole world of this game just opens up to you and you are just like, holy moly, this is absolutely goaded. But it is a bit of a grind. It is a bit of a grind to, you know, to fully maximize those things because you do have to like collect a lot of magic and you know you have to do that and it takes a while. But I will say this, the remakes or the remaster, I guess if you want to call it that, they fix that issue because they give you the times three. So you can just, you know, click one of the analog sticks and you go on hyperspeed mode and you can just grind away and get it done hella fast. Oh, and it also fixed the butt ugliness of it. So this game looks absolutely breathtaking now. It is not ugly anymore. You know, we don't have that meme anymore where Squall is kind of looking gross. Ugh. He looks yucky, but they fixed that and that is amazing. And this game is amazing and you should absolutely play it because of that. Don't listen to the negative hype, I guess, if you want to call it that. This is an excellent game and you should definitely play it. All right, number two and second place, even though there is no places, is Final Fantasy IX. Now, Final Fantasy IX, you guys already know, it is one of the highest rated Final Fantasy games of all time. Like, there's been 16 of them, and this is, like, number one, basically, for some unknown reason, because we both know it's not the best one. But, you know, it is one of the highest rated, and for good reason, because this game is amazing. I mean, the cast of characters, like there's so much life in it. And this was one of the more simplistic Final Fantasies when it comes to like the combat style and all that. It's not super complicated. It's not super complex. It is just classic Final Fantasy with an awesome story. And they just absolutely killed it with this one. And I absolutely love it. I mean, who isn't a Vivi fan? Like seriously, anybody that likes Final Fantasy and doesn't love Vivi, they got some issues like seriously that is really weird and i don't know what to tell you get help seriously get some help stop it get some and you know little caveat to this little side note if there was ever any of the final fantasies that should get remade first i think it's definitely this one this one shows the most potential and it makes the most sense too because of how incredibly good the story is and it still holds up to this day like it's still a great game so, you know, I, I, I nominate this guy. I do. Now, the third one is kind of a two-piece with a chicken nuggets uh, because it is the Final Fantasy Anthology. So, and this is a collector's package too. Pretty cool.
cool huh but this obviously came out on the ps1 and it brought you both games not just final fantasy 6 but final fantasy 5 which is you know honestly it's one of my favorites i'd put it like top three i'd probably put it like second place but it is so good and on top of that you get some music too like it, it comes with an extra bonus disc that brings the music for both of these games you know back in the day when that mattered now you just have apple music and or youtube music and you just can can just look it up and just play it whenever you want anyways final fantasy 5 is one of my favorite ones it has an ex excellent cast of characters and they are really funny they're i think this one's the most comedic honestly this one made me laugh the most just because of all the silly things that they put in it and you know one of the things that i know a lot of people didn't like but i liked about it is that they gave ferris like this almost this pir pirate accent i absolutely love that like i couldn't understand half the stuff she was saying but i thought it was hilarious and i thought it was really cool and unique that they did that since she was technically a pirate you know i thought that was really awesome and final fantasy 6 i mean is there really anything that needs to be said about the best final fantasy game ever made like period i mean you have it all it is like steampunk era which you have this you know beautiful magitech armor you have an awesome cast of characters all of them are all memorable and lovable you have excellent music the scenery is amazing i mean these games are absolutely goaded and final fantasy 6 does not disappoint this was one of the best games that you could play on the Super Nintendo and that is obviously why it got ported to the PS1 and it's been ported to like almost every console. Seriously, it is so good and I for one absolutely love it. Love it. Now this is uh, number four and you know this one might catch people by surprise because this is definitely on the lower side of the list when it comes to people's Final Fantasy lists, but I got Final Fantasy 12 on here. And let me tell you why. One, it is really weird. And two, it was almost like they were wanting to make an MMO, but not really. Like they wanted to make, they clearly made Final Fantasy 11, which was an actual MMO. And they were like, you know, we want to apply some of these principles to this game. And this is what they got. Like, this is what came out. And boy, is it amazing, but confusing. For starters, the characters are really weird looking. They are extremely different. You know, like the dude in the cover, he's got like a, like a half vest. I don't know, some trunks looking type of thing. Really weird. But I did think the characters look really cool. And this was around the time in the PS2 era where, you know, graphics were starting to get insane. And when I say graphics, I mean like the CGI cutscenes. Like they were looking insanely realistic and this game did not disappoint when it comes to those. And you know what? I also like the weird tactics-like battle system that it had where, you know, it was like active time and, you know, you kind of had to battle and you tell your guys to battle certain people and they they were moving around and it was all active and like in the moment. I thought that was incredibly revolutionary for its time. I thought it was absolutely amazing and, you know, a little underutilized. Honestly, this type of battle style could have used a little more polish. Uh, a little more time in the oven and you know it could they, they could have done something a little bit better because it does get a bit stale when you once you've been playing it for a while now i've never gotten to beat this game i know it's pretty shameful because i have it on the switch also but so i can't give it a full glowing you know evaluation but i do think it is a great game and i think it is excellent for the time what it did um honestly i think it's amazing and yeah it's just a great game now last but not least we have the most infamous game when it comes to all of final fantasy i have a love hate relationship when it comes to this game it is final fantasy 10. i still remember the first time i saw this game and I could not believe how amazing and unbelievable the graphics looked. 
and you know to this day they still look good like my wife isn't really much of a gamer but I showed her one of the cutscenes where you know they're doing the Blitzball tournament and it shows like how you know amazing cutting edge graphics I showed her that on my switch because I was I'm playing through this game right now which is kind of funny and you know I was like when do you think this game came out and she was like, honestly, I don't know, like maybe the 2010s or something like that. And I was like, this game came out in like 2001. 2001. That is 23 years ago. And that is absolutely insane. But that just goes to show how good this game still looks. And not just this one too. Obviously, the HD version looks way better. And that's obviously the one that I'm playing. But you can pop this in into a PS2 and a CRT and it'll still look good. I can guarantee you that. Might not look as good as the HD version, but it still looks amazing, honestly. Now to talk to more of the parts I hate. <laughs> There's some parts of this game that did not age well. Obviously the laughing scene is one of them. It is absolutely notorious and disgusting, and I hate it. Ugh, it makes me so angry every time I see it. But the voice, a lot of the voice acting is not very bad. And you know, and I also know I might make a lot of Final Fantasy fans a little bit angry by saying this, but I'm not a Waka fan. Like, I, do, I do not like this character. I think he is mega cringy, and I just, I have never been a fan of Waka. That's just me and you know, I'm just, I, I can't, I, I don't know what to say. But overall, getting past the walk of hate, this game is absolutely amazing. And it is because of the battle system. The sphere grid needs some help. I don't really like how um, hard to navigate it can be sometimes and how much of a pain in the butt it is, but you know, it's, it's pretty good but the battle system is where it shines oh my goodness like this is just simplicity at its finest you have certain characters that can beat certain monsters so titus can beat like fiends and regular stuff like that you have waka where he is more of a flying type you know he takes down those guys easily then you have Orin who takes down you know like the armored fools you stupid the armored fiends and all that kind of stuff and you know uh kimari can he can do that too and then you know obviously you have lulu because you know lulu lulu's the goat she is your mage and she takes down anything elemental like it is just done scraped and then you have Yuna, which is kind of like the question mark factor, like the it factor of the band, because, you know, she is pretty weak. She's not super strong. However, though, she does have, what do they call them, idolins? I, I never know how to say these things the right way. But she has those, and they are incredibly powerful, and some of them are kind of broken. And you guys know what I'm talking about. But... Yes, this game is such a good game. If you look past the crappy cutscenes, the crappy like lips and the dub, it is it is absolutely horrible. It is so bad. It is so bad. But this game is just so good. You know, it makes up for it in so many spots and that's why this is one of the best Final Fantasies ever made. All right, guys, that is my list of Final Fantasy games. I hope you guys like that. And, you know, I'm, I'm also curious what your favorite Final Fantasy games are. If you guys want to let me know in the comments section, you guys already know, I reply to literally every comment I get. So go and hit that thing. Let me know which one your favorite Final Fantasy game is and why, too. Let me know why. All right, guys. Oh, I almost forgot to do my sign off. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content just like this. And as always, guys, we will see you on the next video. Peace. I did the peace sign too early, so I'm just gonna, just gonna leave now.